Hi, Claude Pallon here from Affiliate Starting Line, and welcome. This is part three of the series on how to register domain names, how to point your domain names to your host, and then how to take and make a sense out of the cPanel in your host. And uh, so that's what part three is about, the cPanel. And so what is the cPanel? cPanel is exactly what you're looking at right now. It's called a control panel, and it is the kind of standard user interface that you'll find with a lot of hosts' uh, websites. The host is the company that you go to, to uh, and you pay them anywhere from 10 bucks a month to 20 bucks a month, depending on the server configuration you're using. Uh, and uh, sometimes you can pay more than that if they have uh, cloud computing going, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that when you start out. And the way that you, that you connect to your account after you've signed up with them is through this control panel. And the control panel is your back office. This is where you come and you manage your account. Now, the control panel consists of really two areas, two columns. There's a left-hand column over here that has a search box, gives you the frequently accessed areas, and gives you the statistics of your account. If you ex want to expand, you can expand the left-hand column and take a look at all the statistics that, that relate to your account. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way to keep track and see what's going on. So that, that's what uh, the left-hand sidebar is. On the right-hand side, you have another wider column, and it consists of a series of panels. And those panels are icons, and each panel is specific to a function of what it can do for you in your back office. Now, in this example here, we see a security panel that establishes an, uh, the security for our account. You can uh, create protected directories with accessed only by passwords, and you can set up and do a variety of functions here that protect your account. Files, the files panel, is where you manage your files. This is where you come in the file manager and access uh, your files and set up, create files, um, and look at the hierarchy of what's going on in your account. This is how you're going to um, manage day to day what's going on in your uh, host account. When you create a website, there'll be a folder with the name of that website. Inside that folder will be all sorts of files that help you make that website function. This file transfer protocol accounts are also in the files. This is how you import data from outside of your account into your specific files for your different websites uh, as you're working with them. Preferences. This is uh, very often the panel that's at the very top of the cPanels in, in a lot of uh, web host sites. And this is where you get started, you, you view tutorials, you can establish your password, get your contact list, establish your language. You'll come to preferences at the very beginning, especially if you want to learn how to use the cPanel and, and get into details of how uh, what the host is offering you. Uh, this is where you'll come and, and take a look at the videos. Mail panel. The mail is where you set up email accounts. You can access your email accounts. You can uh, filter your email accounts, and all the functions surrounding emails that you're used to uh, can be performed in this in this panel. Uh, just bear in mind when you create websites, you're going to be creating email accounts specific to each website, uh, especially when it comes to customer service or customer support. And this is where you'll be able to do that. Logs. The log panel gives is your analytic panel. This is where you come to get data about who's been visiting, where they come from, what the volume has been, and it takes it, uh, it gives you that data uh, by, by website. So if you have five or six websites, they'll appear as a list, and you can go in and check out each website uh, and see who's been coming and what kind of hits you've been getting and uh, you analyze the, the, what's been going on on the websites. Domain. The domain panel is important because this is where you're going to be creating uh, and connecting uh, with your registrar, but this is where you create your website itself. When you open up an account with a host, uh, you're going to create a main domain. It, whatever the name is, uh, some people use their own personal names. That's what I've done for my main domain. And then I create subdomains when I create a website. Uh, so that's what happens. And then you can connect that website to your registrar that we just discussed in, in tapes one and two. Uh, add-on domains, you'll create add-on domains uh, from your subdomains because that way uh, your website will appear in the address bar of the browser as a standalone URL. It won't appear as a 
secondary URL behind your main domain. So that's the function of the add-ons. You'll understand what that means when we get into further into setting up websites. Park domains is where you put domains you're not using. Redirects is how you take and use a domain and then redirect the traffic from your domain to another landing page or wherever you want that traffic to go. So redirects is how you direct traffic uh, where you want it to go when, uh, when you're setting up a, a marketing campaign. Databases is the panel where you control all the databases that you create for each website. Uh, you'll access most of that. You can, if you know what you're doing with uh, MySQL and PHP, you can work it yourself. Generally, uh, I access all of this and mess with my databases through customer service because I want somebody going in there who knows what they're doing. Uh, software services, this is where uh, you can work different software uh, programs to do certain functions for your website. I never mess with this because I'm not a CGI or PHP specialist, so, um, and I wouldn't do anything in there unless you knew those programs. Uh, and then advanced is something that also that I wouldn't mess with. It has to do with uh, different forms of software that um, control your website and, and do diff different functions along the way. Sometimes you can go, I've set up cron jobs, but I really wouldn't get involved with this either. Now the software services has an item that uh, you don't see here. And let's take a look and see on mine. This is my cPanel from my own account. And you'll see that my I have it set up. So preferences and are at the top, mail, files, logs, security, domains, all that down here. Notice under software services, the thing I want to point out is I've got Fantastico Deluxe. This, you'll find that uh, on, a, on all the other uh, host sites as well. Sometimes you're going to find another icon that says WordPress. These Fantastico Deluxe and WordPress are important because that's how you set up your WordPress sites. So you would come down to software services once you have redirected your service to your host. Click on Fantastico Deluxe. It's going to open up a panel. Bear with me. And then you're going to come here and pick WordPress, click WordPress, and you'll start to set up and you'll go through a series of panels to set up your website. So that is what the cPanel is. It is the user interface that you get when you sign up with a host and then it's your back office. I hope this video has been useful. It's just a way of introducing you to this uh, web uh, graphic user interface. When I first saw it, uh, it was intimidating, but uh, just spend some time with it, play with it, uh, go in and see what the different functions are, and you'll get used to it. And just bear in mind, you'll be spending most of your time in the mail panel you'll, and uh, the domains, software services, and files. That's really where you'll be spending most of your time. So there it is, cPanel. This has been uh, this is Claude Palan, affiliate starting line. I hope it's been helpful. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.